Faced with higher repair and maintenance costs as well as pressure to deliver better service, SMRT is in a tight squeeze. Analysts agree and have moved to downgrade the stock over the past year. With zero buy calls and 12 sell ratings, the outlook for the transport firm is grim. It's been one mishap after another for SMRT over the past year. CEO Desmond Quek has said that a focus on profit is one reason why the transport firm has been facing problems. He added that the firm will undergo restructuring to help it improve service standards. While this is good news for commuters, analysts say shareholders of SMRT will likely find themselves at the losing end. Shareholders uh, are likely uh, to see the cost of the company go climb up and uh, this will actually uh, hit uh, the profits and uh, ultimately the distribution uh, in terms of dividends. Many investors actually buy into SMRT because of its uh, uh, until not too uh, long ago, a uh, very decent uh, dividend payout. Local transport firms have been battling declining profits and rising costs. They've also had to deal with the demands of a rising population. If you look at uh, ComfortDelGro and uh, SMRT, actually both their bus operations are losing money. For real, they are still, um, uh, still making money, but the margin has, has uh, come off um, from previously. Over the years, Comfort Delgro has expanded its business beyond Singapore. This paid off for the company, which reported that its overseas operations made up almost half of its operating profit last year. Comfort Delgro has always been on uh, overseas expansion and it, they have done relatively well. So that, I believe, will continue. Um, whereas for SMRT, it's probably, uh, what we will probably see is that um, uh, the focus will be domestic. Already, SMRT's dividend payout has fallen 10%, hit by rising costs, and shareholders have voted with their feet. Shares of SMRT Corporation have declined over 7% over the past year, compared to a 20% increase for Comfort Delgro's stock.